of this dress. Moss got in the closet and ate it. I like it. Very new wave. It's ruined. Well, put it back in the closet. Another week, it'll be a bikini. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, if you need a new dress, go buy one. This dress costs a little over $300. So? When my new novel is published, we'll have lots of money. I know, Raj, but you sent your book out to a dozen publishers over a month ago. When do you think you're going to hear something? Any day now. Look, don't worry. The book is going to sell. You'll see. Well, just to be safe, I think I'll wait until it does before I go on my shopping spree. Well, you just plan on being the best-dressed woman in all of Los Angeles. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Thomas. I'm Cal, the new mailman. Oh, hi, Cal. Well, actually, I'm not a new mailman. This here is just my new route. <laughs> well, just keep those cards and letters coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. That's very funny. <laughs> uh, here's your mail. <laughs> yep, the mail's in my blood. You know, my father was a mailman, and my brother's a mailman, and so is my sister. Well, actually, she's more like a female man. <laughs> It's from Wexford Publishing. It's about my book. Oh, what do they say? Dear Mr. Thomas, sounds great already. <laughs> Thank you for your submission of Faithful Harvest. We feel the book shows a genuine writing talent. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> However, your story about the plight of the contemporary American farm family does not meet our needs at this time. Sincerely, Kelly Good, editor. Oh, honey, don't feel bad. Yeah, I feel fine. Hey, I got a lot of rejections before The Criminal Dimension was published. I'm confident that someone would publish my new book. That is a beautiful attitude. Hey, I'm a beautiful guy. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get some coffee. Care to join me? In a minute. I'll teach you to turn down my book, you bonehead. <laughs> I was so sure Wexford Publishing would like my book. Mm. Well, why do you think they turned you down? I don't know. Well, let's see. Does it have a lot of sex in it? No. <laughs> Any violence? Mm -mm. What is it, a murder mystery? No, it's about people. No sex, no violence. No murders. And it's about people? <laughs> All that book I've read like that was the yellow pages. <laughs> oh, but I love to let my fingers do that one. <laughs> hey, Rod Shirley. Hey, hey Dwayne. What's happening? I've been picked to coordinate a seminar that my company sponsoring next month. Oh, that's great, Dwayne. Yeah, unless you have a chance to really suck up to your boss. <laughs> What's the subject of the seminar? Uh, the road to success. But the keynote speech is the power of persuasion. Oh, have you found someone to give the speech? No, I couldn't talk anybody into it. <laughs> Come on, Greg, I'll give you a cup of coffee. <laughs> Roger Thomas. You're him. Uh, yeah. You look exactly like you. Uh, what I mean is you look the same as you do on your book, The Kremlin Dimension. So intelligent. Oh, well, what can I say? I've been a big fan of yours for a long time. I think The Kremlin Dimension is one of the best novels of its type. I read it six times. I only read it three times myself. Oh, that's I read it once. I'm waiting on a movie. <laughs> I phoned your house and your wife said I could find you here. This is my business card. Havenhurst Publishing? Mm -hmm. Oh, please, have a seat. Thank you. Uh, Shirley, Dwayne, I'd like you to meet Dolores Hassett from Havenhurst Publishing. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Mr. Thomas, uh, we're very interested in publishing your new book. 
You are? Oh, of course you are. <laughs> His first book was brilliant, but I never dreamed he'd have the vitality and the heart to write Fateful Harvest. Yeah, well, I do tend to hold back. <laughs> with this new book, he's painted a sensitive portrait of Americana with bold and courageous strokes on a neo-realistic canvas. He's the same guy who couldn't keep his crayons inside the lines of his coloring book. <laughs> Have either of you read this new masterpiece? Oh, no. A master has not matter. See it. <laughs> I want you both to open your ears and listen to Roger's genius. Jack saw the sun coming down upon him. Soon it would be dawn and time to plow. He worked on his tractor, trying to fix the tire flat from the night before. He wondered, he hoped, he prayed that there would be enough time. <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying, Roger. May I proffer an analysis? Oh, proffer away. <laughs> you see, the sun represents the system, and the tire shows the dilemma of one man railing against the system. Yeah, that's exactly what it means, all right. Wow, I thought the guy was just fixing a flat tire. <laughs> With words like this, my publisher will want to give you a healthy advance. What if you're a man, my ask it, Dolores? How healthy is healthy? <laughs> well, with a book like this, I'd say $50,000 easily. <laughs> I really do have to get back to work. It was a pleasure finally meeting you, Roger. And the both of you, too. I'll be in touch with you very soon, and we'll work out all the details of the contract. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Now you see that, Raj? A few minutes ago, you was as low as an ant's Tony. <laughs> what you gotta say now? Well, let me put it this way. Yahoo! <laughs> $50,000? Honey, how do we begin to spend that much money? Well, for openers, you can buy that new dress you always want. As a matter of fact, buy 10 new dresses. Oh, now, honey, shouldn't we wait until we see the money? Uh, we shook hands. That's how it's done in the publishing business. Huh. Well, I guess one new dress would be okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'll need shoes to match. <laughs> and a uh, purse. Mm -hmm. And maybe a hat. <laughs> honey, anything we want from now on is ours. Cost is no object. Hello? Oh, oh, just a minute. Raj, Liz Rizzello from Ballard Publishers. Hey, I said I'm a copy of my book, too. Well, first Haveners, now Ballard. When you're hot, you're hot. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, Roger Thomas speaking. Yes. Yes, well, I have another offer already. Uh, could you hold on for a minute? Guess what? Ballard offered me a $500 advance for my book. Well, what are you going to tell them? Well, Liz... Not only are you not in the ballpark, you don't even have a ticket. Get <laughs> yeah, thanks anyway. He's a marvelous writer. No, make that brilliant. Roger Thomas is going to be a huge success. Oh, of course he will, Dolores. How did you leave it with him? I made a deal with a cash advance. Cash advance? How could you do that? I do work for Havenhurst Publishing. Yes, you do. In the mailroom, Dolores. In the mailroom. I know, Dr. Kessel. <laughs> but when they asked me to send back Roger's manuscript with the standard rejection letter, I just couldn't do it. He really is a very good writer. That may be, Dolores, but you've got to stop having these delusions. I was only trying to help. I'm just crazy about his writing. <laughs> 